Hallelujah. We want to welcome back to the house of Bishop Ebon Bayi himself. Place where he can do it in 
24 hours. When you go over there, they will say, can you release your Alakabu? That's your boat. And then they will give you money in your return. Somebody that has no boat, how will he even be able to wear a good shoe? Or they will say, don't worry, we will put a big saw here. And the bigger the saw, the more money you will make. How comfortable will you be in the garden of millionaires? And people, somebody has to be inside that start spraying you with perfume. All the time, say, I want to know with you. Why this perfume like every 15 minutes? Because you don't want them to hear the good of of Is it it? They are giving you something, you are giving them something, and they are giving you another. You know what Gifts. The family that I come from is the idol worshiping family. Whenever they wanted to do this, they would go very far. I don't have to be there. I will only send them money. Just like, oh, I'm not part of it. But ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, a gift that makes a way. Means that whenever you give it, there is a door that will open. Either negative door or still door. The moment your money is involved, you are 100 percent involved. In evangelism, if you don't go or if you cannot go, your money can go. And wherever your money goes to, your spirit goes along. It's your stamp, your approval that yes, I am part and parcel of this move. A lot of women they find themselves in the cult not because they are willing to find themselves, or but because their mother was part of the cult and the mother is about to die and said, I want to replace myself. So I give my daughter. The daughter didn't know nothing that he has been given into a cult, but they will give back to the woman. And then there will be problem in the life. You start having bad dreams. You start seeing yourself floating. You see yourself on a drone every night. So many times you wonder, why am I flying? A gift has been exchanged. They gave something to the court about your life. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 18, I also want to open Proverbs chapter 18, verse 16.
enter his court. With what? And I will come into his presence with praise. Coming before the Lord for help, that was be a thanksgiving and that was be a praise. That's actually the key that opens God, that opens the mercy house of God. When God will say, I want God to have mercy upon us, I want God to help me. Look what did they see in the world of me? That was here and exchange. You come before him with praise heaven and you come before him with praise. The Yoruba people will say, Okay, me a wa for me. That means the giver's hand is always on top. When you see people that are making it, people that are walking and rolling on the level of millions and all this stuff, do you know how much they give to charity? All believers. They understood what is meant by giving. That's what we're going The greatest gift of all. John 3.16. John 3.16. Somebody. John 3.16. Somebody read this. For God so loved the world that his gift is only the only son. Whosoever believe in him not perish and have everlasting life. The greatest gift ever. Money cannot buy this. Your prayer cannot buy this. But the love of God. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave, a gift came to set humanity once and for all. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 15. Quickly. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 15. The greatest gift. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 15. Anybody? Thanks be unto God. Uh huh. Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. Uh huh. For God so loved the world, come on, let me get the band. This is whole one here. Read that place again, please. Read that place again. Read that place again. Thanks be to God for His indescribable gifts. Gifts from God, not from the devil, but from God. What is that gift? Is our Lord Jesus Christ. That whosoever believes in him will not perish, but what? Have everlasting life. Hmm. I'm going the book of James, chapter 1, verse 17. James, chapter 1, 17. We are going to see where our good gifts come from. Every good and perfect gift is from above. Every gift, every good gift is from above. Coming down from the Father of from the Father. Amen. Who does not change like shifting shadows. Amen. Where well, always is every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For my friends are saved. Uh -huh. Two hands and that of yourself, of yourself, it is the gift of God. The gift of God. To be saved in life is not by your power. Sit down with me. I was sitting up here today and I said it is. Impossible to have your own righteousness. No matter how you strive to be righteous, you are still not going to be righteous. Because we live in this body of flesh. 
I was studying and the uh, book I read told me that your flesh don't get born again. But your spirit. And it's not going to be your spirit that will transform your body. Even though your body may not be able to stay comprehend. So no matter how you try, don't be the Pharisees. Don't point accusing finger on God again. I am the one standing. I have not committed a crime. I don't smoke. I don't fornicate. I don't do this. I don't do all that. Bible says all your righteousness is still like a petty old rag for the God. Listen. That man that you saw last night, the one that you saw two days ago, the woman that you had the story, the woman that you know our story, oh, she was God's reward. Oh, she did this. May enter heaven before you. That's why you need to face your God. The Bible says we are made righteous by Christ Jesus. It is the righteousness of Christ that makes you to be righteous. Coming to church every Sunday, sitting before the Lord is because of Christ. Not because of you. We remember we say, God of Mother shall be a Who is going to stand? When God is like to mark iniquity, who will stand? As I'm talking right now, some people's hearts are going like, gee, 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 gee. It's not man. Don't despise yourself. Pray no more. Let your heart go to the Holy Spirit is ministering to you. Ministering to me too. Wherever it is that you are having to come short of the glory of God, go back there and say, God will forgive me here. Because the gift of Jesus made a way for us to come to the holies of holies. In those days, it was impossible for you and I to come close to this place. The only person that could go here is the high priest. And there was a veil. Come in this place that we could not see what is going on in there. Whenever the high priest is going behind, they have to put a chain on his leg. So that by the time you there two days, three days, four days, five days, they are expecting him to come back and they see him, they will start dragging the chain. And sometimes they will not see him dead. Because God could not behold the meekness. That's why before the high priest would go on the altar, he had to sanctify himself for days to come before the person's God. The God of those days is very mean God. Very mean God. You cannot seek the presence of God with sin. Do you know what they said in those days? Even women that are doing messed up, you cannot come to touch. Even women have to sit at the back of the touch. Now we may see the they both have to go and say, bro, let's go. But the gift of Jesus, when you died on the cross of Calvary, the Bible says everything started shaking. There was earthquake. And the first thing that happened, the veil that was covering the Holy Spirit, God told him to do. And the Lord said, He said, therefore, you can come boldly to the throne of grace by yourself. You don't need any holy to come here with you. You don't need any pastor to come here with you. You don't need nobody to come. But you by yourself can come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy in the time of need. If there is nothing called sin, there cannot be anything called forgiveness. So, if there is nothing called sin, Forgiveness is there because God knows you will fall into situations. If you are falling, don't sleep on the ground. If you see someone on the ground, don't have my down there. For God so loved the world. It wasn't easy for him to send the son. But for the son to come and give us life. To bring us up, he said, when the righteous fall seven times, the Lord will still be there to raise him. Who are you to have a name now? 
Why don't you go to your pastor and pray for me? Why don't you call prayer meeting because of her? Why don't you call people and say, Come, we need to pray for this brother. We need to pray for this sister. Jesus paid a price to bring it here. The gift that we make a way. Hallelujah, somebody. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. I am crucified with Christ. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, yes. I live yet not. Uh -huh. But Christ liveth in me. Uh -huh. And the life which I now live is in the flesh. I live by faith of the sons of God, mm -hmm. who loved me and gave himself for me. He gave himself for me. Just a 
says what? It went on the fire. That was why he said the sacrifice was made once and for all. The benefit of doing it. Because God has given himself, he's asking you to give yourself. He's asking, give your all unto me. Surrender to Jesus. Let me give you this illustration. Because of my team. I'll make this for the uh, 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 available for whosoever wants to go through the streets. Very long. Just imagine you walk in America. And after working for 25 years, you only send $200 to Nigeria. And the rule and regulation is that by the end of that 25, you're going back to your country, you cannot carry dollars. The only thing you have available to you is your time. So all the millions of dollars that you acquired and you get here are not go to Nigeria with you. So you have to go and leave off of the 200 dollars you send to Nigeria. How will you survive? <coughs> Where should you keep the money? Where are you going? Where should you keep your treasure? The place you are going. Don't keep your treasure here. It's useless unto you. A man got to help you. And the angel came and said, You may have. He said, Come on, it's now. I told myself I was going to make it. He said, Show me my house. And the angel said, Let us go. And he went to this big mansion. He said, This must be my home. The angel said, Go, sir. He went to one man and said, This was the same one, sir. He said, Go, go. He went to some guy, Tony Family, and said, Which one, sir? This is not even the house. And they got this and the final land with grass of all. So this is your answer. So what do you mean? So you are going to send this cement and block to heaven. For those who are in your house too. And the man said, this is where we're going to be. So he said, He said, how about those ones that have big house? He said, those ones are the ones that are given to heaven. Do you know how he did it? How, how many years do you think we can stay here? We can only stay here for like 100 years. How is 100 years? That's why everyone on Facebook celebrated 100 years when they she looked like this and said, God, I don't know what that was. Let me die before I look like it. I'm going to be finished by 90. Let's see if it's okay. Uh-uh. That's too much. Then, uh, if it's going to be 100, let's be 100 me still being born, bubbling with the spirit. Not one hundred or anything like this. <laughs> Let it be hundred years of strength. Yes. But you will live in heaven for eternity. It's not about hundred years, it's not about two hundred years. It's forever. Hallelujah. I don't believe you feel me. Hallelujah, so much. Because my camera was sort of rush, okay? Let somebody open the book of Hearts, chapter 20, and just read to me about 35. In everything I did, uh-huh. I showed you that by this kind of hard work, uh-huh. you must help the weak. Mm. Delivering the words to the Lord Jesus himself said, Yes. Most less. More less. To give that to the sick. Now, the first benefit of giving is that you have, there is going to be increase in intimacy. That is the law of God. Let's already open the book of Luke chapter 12. Please hurry up because of my time. My time is gone. Luke chapter 12, verse 35, 34. 